Good evening. An overnight fire damaging a lumber business in Crawford County. Multiple fire departments being dispatched around 1.30 this morning. Chelsea Swift was at the scene in Spartansburg today. She joins us now in the studio with much more about this blaze, which heavily damaged Clear Lake Lumber. Chelsea? Sean and Jill, it took more than 20 fire departments to battle this fire on Main Street in Spartansburg, just off of Route 77. Around 1.30 a.m. Friday, nearly two dozen fire departments responding to a large fire in the 400 block of Main Street in Spartansburg. The Spartansburg fire chief says freezing temperatures and strong winds made it difficult for multiple departments to fight the fire. The weather made it worse. We had several trucks go down. Corey had an issue with their ladder truck. All Everybody had pumps freezing up. We had to send our main attack engine back to the station because it was froze up. Chief Hughes says there were no injuries and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. However, at this time, they believe the fire started with an electrical problem. Hughes says it was a chaotic scene and many departments were necessary to extinguish the fire. Yeah, I can't even tell you who all was here. At one point, I just got a hold of Erie County and Crawford County and told them to send me tankers out of wherever I could get. Uh, I heard there was 20 some different companies here. One volunteer says she's been providing warmth and refreshments for 11 hours for multiple fire departments battling this blaze. Been helping out, making sure they're kept warm, fed, drinks, and mostly to get the fire out and keep everyone safe. Haskin says starting around 2.30 a.m., firemen had access to water, Gatorade, and coffee. She says the fire was overwhelming and she was glad to be there to help. It was scary and just, you know, seeing the, all the flames in the early morning come up and just thankful for that no one was hurt. Haskins and Chief Hughes say this is one of the largest fires they've responded to, adding it took several hours to get the fire under control.